Hi, this is Emily here at the Children's Literature Training Academy. I want to talk to you today about this vintage series, Trixie Belden. I have here the first six books from that series and I will show them to you. And I just finished reading the first one. So I'm going to give you my thoughts and impressions of this series, Trixie Belden, um, and talk a little bit about it and compare it to similar books. Um, so for fans of like Nancy Drew or the Hardy Boys, this might be right up your alley. The Trixie Belden series um, ran between 1948 and 1986, um, whereas Nancy Drew, for example, was first published in 1930, so this came a little bit later. Um, and the first six books in the Trixie Belden series were written by the same gal, Julie Campbell Tatum. And after that, the, the remaining books were written by different authors when... Um, uh, the publishing house made changes and branched them out to different authors. So you might see the writing styles changed a little bit from what I understand. I haven't read the rest of the first series, um, which I am going to do and I'll give more updates as time goes on with my reviews. And then I'll read what the first book from a different writer um, after that. But so Trixie Belden um, and Random House later read put these into nicer versions, but still gave them the original vintage style. So this is book one, and it says here on the copyright page, um, yeah, 1948, renewed in 1976. So they renewed the, the contracts um, and re-released them, the first 15 volumes in, in this kind of nice hardback style. The first one is The Secret of the Mansion. The second one is the Red Trailer Mystery. And I love, love, love the style of these books. Um, the third one is The Gatehouse Mystery. The fourth one is The Mysterious Visitor. And the fifth one is The Mystery of Glen Road. I found these on Amazon, I'm sorry, eBay. You can search for individual ones, um, antique ones, or the, the reproductions. I kind of like mine a little bit nicer, so I went for the more reproductions. They were basically almost brand new condition, the, lot, the ones that I found. Um, you might be able to find them as a lot. You might have to buy them separately. But so Trixie Belden, the difference between Trixie Belden and Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew, if you ever read any of the Nancy Drew books, Nancy Drew is older. She's a teen. She drives. She's probably like um, 16 or 17. This is more 13, 14, I'd say 14, 15, maybe. For some reason, I kept thinking of Trixie Belden throughout this entire book as Haley Mills in The Parent Trap, the one twin um, that is the daughter of, of the farm, the guy who lives on the ranch out in California, the one that rides the horses, and she's like the one that does all the pranks on the, on the other twin that she doesn't know is her twin in the tent at the beginning of the movie. That one, the way she talks, the short crop blonde hair, that age, um, I just kept visualizing her like throughout the whole thing, so that's a perfect visualization. Um, and so Trixie and her family live in the Hudson Valley in New York, on uh, Crabapple Farm. And it, this book is about her, the, we, introduced, we are introduced to the character Honey, who lives on this mansion, kind of up on the hill, a big manor. And she's a lonely girl whose parents are never there. She's raised by her nanny and Trixie meets her and they become friends. Um, and this is happening in the summer. So they're going about um doing mystery you know mystery things on the farm there's another empty manor um in this book uh an old empty kind of creepy house nearby where the old man that lives there that is very mysterious nobody knows collapses trixie's father is a doctor she takes him to the hospital and there's a mystery there there's someone that's like squatting basically that's being seen up in the, in the house no one knows who it is we find out it's a boy named Jim who is going to be in a lot of the other books. Um, he ends up inheriting the house, but he's hiding out there. He's hiding from an abusive father, but the old guy who had went into the hospital was a distant relative and um, he come, came to seek him out to get help from his abusive father. And there's there, the mystery is, I guess, they're trying to figure out what the secret is that the old guy had and where's all his money tied up and where's the money hidden so it wasn't like a big, like a murder mystery to solve, like the Nancy Drew books or a crime. I don't know if any of the others are going to get into that, um, considering it says the gatehouse mystery. Um, 
let's look at this one. Govern covered by vines and hidden by trees, the old gatehouse on the edge of the woods has been abandoned for years. But then Trixie and her pal Honey explore it. They discover more than just dust and spider webs inside. The two girls find a huge diamond stuck in the dirt floor. Okay, so yeah, I'm guessing that all of these are, these aren't so much crimes to solve as mysteries to solve to help local authorities who are confused about things going on is kind of, by being busy by the girls is kind of what this is all about. This one says the red trailer mystery. Jim Frayne has run away from Sleepy Side, and that happened in this first book. Before Trixie could tell him that he is the sole heir to the huge fortune in the mansion and her best friend, Honey, Trixie sets out in a trailer across New York to track Jim down and stumbles upon another mystery along the way. So that's what happened at the end of this book. Jim went into hiding. He, he vanished, um, the 15-year-old boy who was an orphan, and they were going to go look for him. So the mysteries aren't so much murders or solving like in Nancy Drew. It's more um, things that are unexplainable that no one else can seem to figure out. And that just by being nosy girls with nothing to do um so i enjoyed it i the thing i liked the, i mean i didn't love it the thing i like the most are the black and white illustrations in here it almost makes me want to get out my color pencils and color them because it kind of they kind of remind me a coloring book so there are a lot of illustrations you have names for all of the chapters and lots of illustrations in these books but these are all like the original kind of vintage style um illustrations there are a lot of them uh it does read like a, sh a short novel i do want to say that it's i read a lot of children's literature um classic and vintage and antique as well as fantasy modern literature for children middle march reads that kind of thing and i do want to say that the writing is i mean it can be a little boring I like it because of the vintage antique feel. I think it's charming. Um, I like anything that's said in the past that kind of brings you into that time period. But it's the writing is very plain. Like, and what I don't like is Trixie calls her mom moms, like plural mom moms. What are you saying, moms? Golly gee, good one, moms. Like that kind of thing it irks me. I don't know why. That's what makes me think of the Haley Mills and the Parent Trap. Like, oh golly gee, wow. You know, like moms. Like that. That kind of thing bugs me. And there are some scenes that are a little slow where the girls are just doing dishes or talking or having a tea party or whatever. The language is very basic. There weren't a lot of passages. Normally I like to mark or write down passages or quotes or lines that I love from a book in my um, bookly app when I read a book. But I really didn't have any in here that stood out to me. But if you read these, if you're older, if you read these when you're young, give them a reread. Um, they're kind of fun. I never read them at all because I was born in the 70s. So this was a little, maybe a little before my time. Um, th they continued run running into the 80s, but th those weren't the originals. They were picked up by Random House, and they were completely different by then. Um, so anyway, I just wanna I just wanna say that if you like, I, you know, Nancy Drew books, um, this would be a good alternative. Here is a vintage Nancy Drew book, so you can see the difference. So the Mystery at Lilac Lane by Carolyn Keene. She wrote a good majority of the Nancy Drew books. I have a whole video on. Uh, the Nancy Drew series and history behind that. I will link that below. You can check that out. I show you all my Nancy Drew box sets. I have all of these and I love these. So Nancy Drew, definitely there's more like murder mystery or um, there's some, you know, mentions of bodies. It's a little more mature. Um, this is a little bit more basic, you know, more clean. I don't know how to describe it different they're just different they're both mystery they both kind of play off the whole egg this one plays a little bit more off like an agatha christie style but i love the smaller size of the nancy drew ones the trixie belden ones are bigger her back um so they're just different but if you like nancy drew you might like trixie belden give it a try i love the colors of them and i just like the feeling the nostalgic feeling of being brought back um to young life um, it says here, and I took some notes for the future books, that Honey, Trixie, and Jim will form a club called the Bob Whites of the Glen. And they're going to form, they form a mystery solving club once they find Jim. And so that's what the rest of the books are going to be about, the mysteries they solve. So I am, I am going to read one of these each month in my book reads. Um, and I will keep you updated on that as well. And um, thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully you found something new you liked. If I can find any of these on Amazon, the reproductions, I'll link them below and I'll see you in another video.